Hey guys, today we're checking out the Kimura Boom Microphone for IEMs, which is made by the famous makers of the mod mic, Antlion. And I'm currently checking it out, and this is, you know, this was sent to me for review, but this won't affect my review in any way, shape, or form. Everything you're going to hear is my own personal opinion, you know, just got to get that disclaimer out of the way. But regardless, we're checking out this microphone today, and if you do want to check out a review on, like, the IEMs I've made that can come with the Kimura Microphone, the Solo, or the Duo, I've also, you know, reviewed that. I'll leave a little link in the corner and the bottom in case you want to check out that review to see if those IEMs are any good for gaming. But this particular video will be focusing more on the Kimura microphone itself, its performance in various situations, and I will also be comparing them to um, other previous offerings I've reviewed before, such as the Ethos Pro Gaming microphone, as well as the uh, Kinura microphone. And uh, let's, uh, you know, that being said, let's get started. <laughs> As you can see here right now, currently from like the beginning of this video to this point, we've been recording off of the Kimura microphone by Antline. This is what it's going to sound like. So uh, let's also get some various tests through. For example, since it is an omnidirectional microphone, it'll pick up a lot of background noises. This was one of my main concerns, but it will also have a pretty good high like sound quality. That's just the nature of the omnidirectional microphones. But because they're omnidirectional, once again, being omnidirectional means they'll you'll hear or listen and it'll pick up a lot of noise around it so if there's someone next to you you're more likely to hear it than you know on other microphones that may be like um cardioid microphones i'm actually out of breath but let's get a few things tested out for example typing i'm using sunflower switches by the way which are tactile switches they're fairly loud and you can definitely hear me typing as it is going i'm just typing random stuff but it's just so you can hear but at least on the bright side while you can hear it, you can hear my voice pretty well over it. However, I do think it is still kind of, kind of more audible than I would have preferred if you're like in that kind of gaming environment. So if you're like in a household that's very loud, maybe not the greatest thing in the world because it will capture some background noise, which I'll play now. So this is like the background noise of a coffee shop. Let's get that to a level that's kind of realistic. So if you're in a coffee shop, this is kind of like the loudness we're going to get, and it definitely will pick up the background, as you can hear. Quite a bit of noise, you know, but on the bright side, you can still hear my voice a lot better over all those sounds, but I can imagine if these people in this cafe are really close to you, it might capture those sounds a lot too. But once again, this is if you're going to be using this out of like a home place, and you're going to be using them out and about. If you're going to be using for gaming, it is definitely preferred for anyone using any sort of omnidirectional microphone to be in a more controlled environment that's not too loud or doesn't have too much noise going around because it will pick up those things. But, you know, with the magic of Discord on the bright side, it'll at least help with, um, like, making sure it's not recording those sounds in the back because that's how, nature, you know, Discord has been programmed. But it can only do so much because it's just kind of, think, you know, how things go. So, you know, this is currently what we're getting out of the Kimura microphone. Let's get, like, some comparisons with, like, the other microphones. All right, now, next, we're currently testing the Kinura microphone, which is closest in design to the Kimura microphone because it's also an omnidirectional microphone. I think this microphone's a little bit more sensitive, um, and because of that, it's going to possibly pick up more background noise in comparison. So let's, you know, just get that tested. But, you know, let's, you know, you know it just makes more sense. So... Let's test it to see how much it picks up in comparison versus just talking about it. It is no mistake that you can hear the keys now of my sunflower switches. Let's see how it does with like that same background noise I was playing of that cafe in case you're going to be using those louder situations or maybe there's more noise around where you are. I mean, un unmistakably, you can hear the background quite a lot, but... It does pick up my voice also very well, but you'll still get that background noise. And hopefully the magic of Discord, if you use that in gaming, will help with that. But that's more of a home situation or gaming situation, unless you do use Discord for your office work. But once again, all these microphones are typically used for gaming. But if you're thinking about using it outside of gaming, I would once again prefer to use them in a more controlled environment, just because of how it is by nature. Um, yeah, that's just how omnidirectional microphones are. But on the bright side, the quality of the sound is pretty good on the Kinura microphone. But before we like kind of like could do proper like comparisons, to talk about more about like the Kimura microphone. Let's move on to our next microphone. All right, now we're listening to the Ethos Mark III Pro Gaming microphone. It's the most long-winded title of the microphones, but you know, this there you go. This is what it sounds like. This one is different from the last two. This is a cardioid microphone, so. Uh, my voice is definitely not going to be nearly as clear. It's going to be more kind of almost like robotic-ish little 
little, little work is being done to like try to cancel out background noise. Being a cardi, you know, cardioid microphone to try to get better background noise cancelization and whatnot. But let's put that to the test by seeing how it compares if I type and how it picks up the background noise in comparison to my voice. All right, let's play some background noise. Same thing, same volume. It's pretty loud. I adjusted it to like essentially what I would listen to, um, what a cafe loudness would sound like to my ear. So it's definitely kind of on the subjective point. So do take this with a grain of salt in case you're gonna type in the comments. Well, how do you know the background is gonna sound like that? Well, this is just to my ear and how loud it gets in cafes, because I kind of have worked in cafes before. So you know, this is how it's doing. Honestly, not bad, right? Does a pretty good job trying to, like, ignore those sounds. My voice is well captured over it. But, you know, it can only do so much with the technology. And at the end of the day, despite its abilities, my voice is still you know, not the best sounding. But I guess, in theory, as a cardioid microphone, it will do better in louder situations. If, especially, like, if you're in a loud place like this. Or maybe your, like, current gaming place is a bit of a louder place. You know what I'm talking about? Like, if you're a kitchen room gamer, this is te technically the better option. All right, now we're back on Antlion's Kimura microphone, and I guess let's get our final thoughts and our comparisons out between them and what I think about them. So, when it comes to all the microphones, I think the Antlion mod mic does do a really good job. It has a pretty good job in, like, you know, getting really good voice quality while also trying not to get too much background noise. However, I do think Kinera's microphone, which I just remembered is called the Grammar, the Kinera Grammar, sounded better in terms of its like audio quality it just sounded more natural to me and gave more body a little bit more bass to my voice and in comparison to the antline mic i think the mic this one sounds a little bit slightly more nasally compared to the um Kinera grammar however the Kinera grammar is also more sensitive and does pick up a lot more background noise so there is that problem and it being more sensitive is more likely to peak so if you usually have a very loud voice, then, you know, that's going to be also an issue. Um, I I tend to talk kind of loudish, but I, well, I mean, I, I mean sometimes I talk kind of loud, but if I, on a normal day, I don't talk too loud. But if you usually talk very loud or you got a powerful voice, the, 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 um, the, the Kinera grammar might not be the best choice. It's definitely going to get blown out in some situations, especially if you like yelling in your games a lot, in which case um, the ad line mic will do you much better. So, it, you know, with Antlion, it seems like they did try to find a balance between having good vocal quality and not getting too much background noise while also make, not making the microphone too sensitive. That way it doesn't peak in sound. So I think the Antlion microphone is just an overall better, like, choice for overall. The Kinera, while it does, I do personally think it sounds better for my voice, that, that comes at a bit of a cost and so it's not going to be for everyone with the antline mic i think it's going to be a safer pick overall it is ten dollars more expensive but i do think um that ten dollars goes to that quality to try to make things balance the kin the kin the dead the kinera grammar is ten dollars cheaper it does sound i get you like i get like i said it's going to sound a little bit better in my opinion but it comes at the cost of you know uh, being very sensitive and definitely picking up background noise a lot easier. On the other end of the spectrum, the uh, the Ethos Pro Gaming microphone, which I know I did write off and say like you know don't even get it now that the uh, you know the Kinera grammar is out. I'm willing to go back on my word. I I can see the value in it now. The noise canceling compared to both of these is just so much better. I wouldn't say noise canceling, but noise you know background noise rejection. Because it is a, you know, a cardioid microphone, it just does such a much better job in rejecting background noise and capturing your voice. But it's just the sound quality for your voice isn't the greatest. But to some people, I can understand how that doesn't really matter. It just If you just want it to capture your voice and be fairly clear enough, then getting a cardioid microphone, like, you know, as this kind of cardioid boom microphone is fine. Yes, it won't sound as good in terms of like your actual voice quality, but it'll reject more of that background noise. You won't have trouble with like all those noise going around as much as you would on like the one I'm using right now, the outline microphone, or especially the Kimura Grammar microphone. So there is that. So I can understand the value, but the value um, in that right now is very expensive. So I'll, that's one of the reasons I kind of don't recommend most people to get the 
grammar the ethos microphone it's it's, it's ninety dollars you know <laughs> that's a lot of money to be paying and if you're in the states it's going to cost you more because of shipping and it's easily going to go to like a hundred ten dollars if depending on where you live and whatnot so that's a lot of extra money to be paying to get some like background noise projection but if it's that important to you then i can see how that would make sense so it's definitely more situational versus if you are getting you know the uh, a microphone that you want really good quality i do think ant lion's choice is the better of the three it just sounds really good it help doesn't get too much background noise it's a good balance but now if you're in a really really controlled environment you don't got to worry about anything about like background noise and whatnot and you're not going to be like using them in environments that are going to be super loud and you're maybe just going to be purely using it in a nice kind of quieter gaming environment then sure you know the 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 Kinura grammar would be the better choice for you However, uh, you know, once again, if you do have a louder voice, it is more likely to peak uh, compared to the Kimura. So there is that. So in my opinion, for all around, I think Antline did the best. But, you know, then, you know, either there's those opposite end spectrums where I think the either of these microphones may do better. So if there was a spectrum of, like, usage... The Antline mod mic is like generally better for the general populace, whereas these ones are more specialized on two ends of the spectrum. Whereas the Antline mod mic sits, well, I want to call it the mod mic, but it's a Kimura microphone. Um, it sits in the middle. I, I, da darn it! I'm so used to calling it mod mics because Antline is famous for the mod mic. This is the mod mic. It's a, it's, it's the Kimura. It's too close to the Kinera grammar, but you know. The, I'm just rambling at this point. So these are just my opinions on the microphones and whatnot. But um, take it all with a grain of salt because your use cases will dictate which microphone you are going to get. Preferably for me, um, I would use the Antline microphone, to be honest. But in a louder situation, I guess I would actually bring the, the Ethos microphone. I already have it. But for most of you out there who are making your buying decisions... Just know your kind of situation you're in, what you're going to be using these for, and that will be your pick. Because sometimes my quality isn't everything. Sometimes it's background noise, um, rejection, that's everything. So that, that that's pretty much all I have for today. So if you do want to buy any of these microphones, I'm going to leave it down in the description. You to buy from, pick it out from. If you want to see a review on like the IEMs that can come with the Kumura microphone, because Antline now makes two sets of IEMs you can pick from that will come with this microphone cable, then I'll have a little, you know, a link down there as well as in the corner right there in case you want to check that video out to see which one you want to get instead, you know? Because maybe it's your first set of IEMs and you just want to get it all in one go. You want really nice IEMs and a really nice microphone to go with it. Then, you know, video in the, in the corner if unless it disappeared already. But, you know, if it didn't, if it already did, it's in the description. So, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of rambling right now. Kind of, kind of tired. A little dehydrated, but, you know. Doing, we're doing fine. We've got to get through all these reviews. Got more videos out soon. Doing my best. Balancing everything. You know, I'm just one guy. So, uh, thank you for being patient with me. See you guys next time.